All right, hello, hello, and welcome. This is the first time I've used this blur feature. Um, I look like an angel floating in space. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create an unsubscribe uh, trigger or an unsubscribed um, link in a certain email sequence. Now, why would you want to do this? Um, if recipients, you know, maybe still want to your weekly newsletters, but maybe they want to opt out of a launch or sales promotion sequence, since we do send a lot of emails during those time periods, um, it's great to give them the option. What this does is help um, keep your email list um, engaged in the content that they want um, and helps you reduce the number of unsubscribes when you are in a more um, sales promotional period with your email list. So if they still want to get your nurture content, but they may not be ready to buy for the from you, then this link provides a great way for them to get off of that sales sequence and still get relative and valuable content um, until they are ready to buy from you. Um, so let's get started. I am logged into, I'm going to get started on sharing my screen. Um, so here's my screen. I am logged into my Kajabi dashboard. First things first, we're going to go sub create an unsubscribe page. So we're going to go website and pages. Um, and then we're going to do a landing page. We're going to do a new landing page. And we just want to create a blank page. It's going to be super simple, just saying that they have been opt out. I'm going to call it opt out page. And we're enabling our power thrusters right now. And so let's see. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go to the details and just update my um, URL to just say opt out. Um, and then we can publish this and just be like, oh, bye, 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 just, you know, some fun. Page, and then we don't want this to show up on search results. We're going to go ahead and hit save. So then once our landing page is updated, we're going to customize it to our liking. So right now we've got a hero with an image and I'm actually just going to, um, I know I'm going to want to embed a video. And I have like a cute little GIF that I want to use. Um, and then I also add some text underneath as well. So I've outlined my, all my text before. Um, and we're just going to be um, change this really quickly. You've been successfully opted out. Of this sequence. I kind of got a cute little like in sync. I'm an, an 80s baby, so bye bye bye. I'm gonna be like a wave emoji. I use lots of emojis on my uh, pages. So it's kind of a brand new thing. And then I want to um, make this smaller. So I'll change this format to three. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to go in and add my um, GIF that I got from Giphy.com. And we're going to copy the code. And we're going to go to the right thing. Control V. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> um, I kind of want them. All right. And then. Um, 
if you opted out of this sequence in error shoot me a comma shoot me an email and I'll get you all fixed up we're going to change this shoot me an email link to mail to my support email address and I want this to be like bigger and I want it to be uh, centered. So we're going to change the alignments to center. Center. Hey. All right, so let's uh, preview this. I'm just going to change the background to my brand colors. Do a little branding here. Um, let's change style guide to my font. So my body font is Mont. That my heading font is Playfair display. Save. For some reason, my shoot me an email is not coming up with a link. So check that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let me see. Oh, it's here. I don't know. Okay. I'm just going to change it to a color so that they know because it is linked. You just can't tell. Sometimes it does this in blogs too, where it like will link, but then in the design. So I'm just going to highlight the link and change the text color on it so that it stands out and then hit save. If you've opted out of this email and error, shoot me an email and I'll get you fixed up. Okay, so we are saved. We're going to preview how does this guy look on desktop. You always want to check how it looks on desktop. And then about 80% of your users are going to be mobile. So you're going to want to check and see how it's. Right. Uh, let's see if this uh, shoot me an email. Yep, it worked. It opened up my email. Perfect. And then you're going to want to check and see how you look on mobile. So to check it on mobile, you're going to go here, change it to mobile. This is what it's going to look like on mobile. Um, and then also you're going to want to pull it up on your actual phone too, because sometimes this thing lies and it's not really what it looks like on my phone. So I always like to check it there too. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of that. We have quickly created this opt-out page now. And now I'm going to show you how to add it to your sequence. So I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to be creating, I just created a quiz to see, um, it's a quiz you can take to see what is the key to unlocking your limitless launch potential. Um, and then it goes into a three-part um, email series. It's kind of like a mini course that helps you implement whatever that key is. Um, but I want to give people an option if they want to skip the whole intro and just get onto my newsletter to do that. So I'm going to go create an email sequence for my first um, quiz result, which my sequence is going to be. Um, the first one is aligned strategy. I'm going to do an intro um, mini course. And there we go. And I always do simple text, just helps you stay out of the spam box. The title for this email is going to be email number one. Strategy, create. All right, so I'll go in later and show you how to um, get this 
you know, formatted and edited to your liking. I'm just gonna hit save for now. Um, and then we're gonna go to the email sequence and we're gonna do add automation. Um, when email sequence is clicked. Oh, I have to add the link in the email. Okay, so we're going to edit it really quickly, but I'm not going to edit the whole thing. Um, I'm going to put like opt out. So it is going to be um, like opt out. I'm going to have better text here, but I'm just doing this for purposes. And then we're going to link um, to www.jessicadwalther.com slash opt out. Okay. And then we're going to save. All right. So then what you would do is after you've got all this formatted, edited to what you need to do, you would go into each email and you're going to add an automation. And then when the email is clicked and you're going to do this opt out one, because I'm going to have other emails like linked to blog posts and stuff in there too. I just want to, if just, if they click this opt out one, then we're going to um, unsubscribe from this email sequence. And then you're going to go hit save. And then you're going to do that for each email that you do so that they always have the option to like just skip all of this um, and just get your newsletter. So um, I highly recommend doing this as a welcome sequence, but I highly recommend doing this in your sales launch promotion strategies. Like I said, um, it just helps, you know, people you know, be able to have the freedom to pick and choose what they get from you. And if they are not if they know they're not going to buy and they don't want their e email inbox bombarded with emails, um, then you can give them the option to out, opt out of your sequence um, and they'll still begin to um, learn from you and gain value from you. And then when they are ready, you know, that sales sequence will come along um, and they'll be able to purchase from you. So I hope that quick tutorial helped you. Um, if you have any questions or have any other topics that you'd like me to cover, um, definitely comment down below and I'd be happy to film a video for you. Have a great day. And...